Hey, welcome to Marlo's Monday Minute. I am Marlo and today is November 11th, 2019. And today is also Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day to all of you veterans out there. Thank you so much for your, your service. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you for your service. I wanted to talk about something uh, I don't kind of unique, I guess. This is kind of a, a different Marlowe's Monday Minute. I am, and as you can see, I'm kind of all natural today because I was off work and I have a lot going on. I'm leaving this Sunday coming up uh, for a huge, huge vacation. My husband likes to travel around the world and I'm very blessed to get to tag along with him. So he's the one who really kind of prompts these amazing trips that we go on. And um, I may do a, a video on that because he's just brilliant. We do them very budgeted. We are, we, we've just traveled to some amazing places, everything from, you know, New York to Belize, Costa Rica, Europe's a couple times, several times, and we've just done some amazing trips. And this time we're leaving Sunday for down under. We're going to Australia and New Zealand, and I am super, super excited and super nervous at the same time. It's a super long plane ride. I haven't ever done a plane ride that long and I'm a little bit nervous and I'm just a little bit nervous to be in, I mean, I'm excited to be in Australia and New Zealand because I've heard it's just absolutely beautiful and everyone is super kind and I'm just a little nervous. I'm always just this nervous when we leave, especially when we leave for three weeks. So we'll be gone three weeks this time. And um, we have some amazing people that stay at our house. We have this great couple that stay with us, um, stay at our home, and they watch everything. And so I'm not nervous about that, but I am just nervous to leave work, leave the projects that I'm working on. And you just, I'm sure you can kind of relate to that. So I wanted to talk about something like what I did to prepare for this trip that was different than I've done for all the other trips in the past. This time I made a list. So on Sunday, I decided one week in advance, I would make a list. So this yesterday, which was Sunday, I made a list of everything I was going to do from Sunday to Sunday when I was actually at, the, so we have to be at the airport 1.30 PM on Sunday. And, um, and my husband's traveling this weekend with, with his band and that made me a little bit nervous, but you know what? He's going to take care of that. He's professional. He's used to doing this and he's used to these really, you know, tight time schedules and, and traveling. And so I know he's going to take care of his stuff and will be great. So me, I'm the one who has all the anxiety. I get super, super anxious about this. Like, is everything going to work out? Am I going to forget anything? Um, I have so much to do. I get really like in my head way too crazy. So this time I decided to make a list and I made a list of everything that I need to do from now until I get on the plane in Sunday afternoon. And my goal was to be completely packed two days before we actually fly out. And that can be done. So Friday night is my goal. I'm going to be completely packed by Friday night. And the way to get to that was I made a list of kind of like a to-do list, but it's just one list of everything I need to be packed, everything I need to do before I leave. So that was everything. So I put on a piece of paper, I just kind of like a brain drain, if that makes any sense. I literally put down every makeup item I need to take, every medicine, supplement, underwear, and the number, like all the clothes I put, jeans, two, pants, three, shirts, five, sweaters, two, underwear, 10, you know, whatever it, the number is. I'm just kind of making those numbers up as I go. But I literally even put down the number. I put the type of shirts down, shoes that we're gonna t take. Um, I even put down all the travel documents I need to take. I, item, I, I listed each one of those, the visas, the passports, the, Airbnb, the plane tickets, like all that. Like I put everything down and um, I have a folder I've put together with all our travel documents in it. And I've even scheduled what I need to do every day, just a little bit each day. So I'm not doing all of this on Friday night. So a little bit each day this week around work. So I'm working this week, right? I have a very full schedule this week. And so I even put on there laundry. Like I need to have a load of laundry done every day. So by Saturday, all my laundry will be done. I need to... Uh, go to the store and get certain items that I didn't have that I want to pack. So I have a store list of where I need to go and what stores I need to go to and what day I could actually go to those stores. I am just blown away how great this has been. My anxiety is just so much more small than it normally is. And I think it's just from the action of taking an hour and a half on Sunday and making a list. That's all I did on Sunday. I literally just wrote down every little thing that I need to do 
between now and being completely packed Friday night. So here's the goal. The goal is to have everything on the, the to-do the to -do list for each day, um, just a little bit each day, have it done. And so by Friday night, I'm going to be completely packed. Now, I do have on there that I'm probably gonna go to bed late Friday night, so I have like 10 or 11 o'clock is kind of my cutoff time, so probably by like 11 p.m., maybe even midnight, I don't know. I'm going to be completely packed Friday night. And then Saturday, all I have to do is get up and just go over the list. Just make sure I've checked everything off the list and make sure everything is in the suitcase, all the travel docs are done. Just, that's all I have to do. So Saturday is such a great day because all I'm going to do is just make sure I have everything uh, in line that's you know packed, ready to go, and it's just kind of a relaxed day. I'm gonna go work out, I'm going to just really take it easy and just really enjoy relaxing so that by the time Sunday hits, I'm already on vacation. Like I'm ready to go, everything's packed, Brett's gonna come in, pick me up, we're gonna head over to Uber over to the airport, and we'll be good to go. So I hope that helps you for the next time that you plan a big trip, like just all I have to do, maybe start one week before, but even if it's a small trip, like even, I'm gonna start doing this even for long weekend trips. I'm just going to make that list a week before and just get it out, get it all the anxiety out on the paper, and then I'm just gonna follow a very simple list. If you have been to Australia or New Zealand, I would love to know your suggestions. Have you done that flight? Uh, what is it like? I would like to know what Sydney's like. I've been watching these amazing YouTubes of uh, Sydney and of New Zealand. I just want to thank you so much for all of you who do that. I am going to start posting my videos from our travels because I just realized how important it was when I was watching your YouTube videos. It really is important to share that with each other because I learned so much just from real human beings out there really touring these areas and telling me what to really expect. So my entire goal really when I get to Sydney is I'm obsessed with wombats. And so that's my biggest goal is I really just wanna see a wombat so bad. So hopefully we're gonna make it to the Sydney Zoo and the aquarium and so we can see some of the amazing wildlife over there. Have a great week. I will be filming Marlo's Monday Minute from Sydney, Australia next week. I no idea what it's going to look like. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about, but I will be filming Marlo's Monday Minute from Sydney, Australia next week. I, it'll probably be, it'll be Tuesday in Sydney, but still Monday in the United States. I think that's how I'm going to get away with like justifying it's still Monday. Hopefully I'll be awake because we'll have been traveling for 24 hours. And uh, so I probably shouldn't make any promises. It may be Tuesday next week. And um, like always, I'd like to leave you with this smile challenge. Smile challenge is super, super easy. All you have to do is one smile at one person in the next 24 hours. That's it. Just one smile at one person in the next 24 hours and you will have completed and mastered the smile challenge. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fabulous week. And if you're traveling next week, I hope you enjoy your travels too. And once again, happy Veterans Day. See you next Monday.